Hello, hello, Gemini. It is that time of the year. That time of the month. No, no, not that time. It's time for horoscopes. I know, I'm back. I'm in a new location. I hope the light is okay. I'm worried about the light behind me, but I think we're good. I've missed doing this. I'm so excited. Okay, Gemini, let's talk about your December 2022 horoscope, okay? So the first thing I want to say is that I know you're in panic mode. I know, I understand you are in panic. You are in sheer panic mode. I love it because of the holidays, because of your family, because of your work. Stop. Just stop right now. Right now, right, I mean like right, literally right now. Like, look at me, okay? Take a breath. I mean it, take a breath. Let it go, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Gemini, things will work out. You always land on your feet. You will always land on your feet. And if you don't, you still get back up and you dust yourself up and you keep going again, okay? This is a time of recovery for you. So whether you've had a medical injury or a breakup or a loss of a job or whatever that might be, take this time for yourself. Lay on the couch and eat ice cream or not if you're lactose intolerant, don't eat ice cream, maybe, maybe something else like cake and um, watch movies and be with your family, okay? January is for worrying. Right now it's for taking care of yourself. And I want to start with some relationship stuff. I feel like my single Geminis are a little lonely right now. And I don't think it's that you want a relationship so much as you don't feel supported. It's because of the fact that you are the solitary support in your life. You support everybody else and the support that you get, which is minimal, feels not so great compared to what you give. So it's important for you to think about what you need and to kind of create a strategy to get that for yourself. Maybe you speak to uh, a therapist or you go to yoga or you, um, you do you get out of the house and you do something for yourself but it's really important especially this time of year to to look into how you're feeling and how your mental health is because I know it's, it's a stressful time I do know that work and financials I feel like they don't feel great right now but they're going to get better in January so much better and I know that it's hard right now because you're like, I, I need to spend certain monies that I'm afraid that I will not have. Spend the money. You're going to be okay. Again, you got to breathe, right? For my Gemini's in relationships right now, I think it's important to have a good talk with your partner about delegating duties. Sharing the load because you're at a tipping point. So I know you are the doer, but you've got to get some help. Otherwise you're going to break on Christmas and just go cuckoo bananas and, you know, drink the cooking sherry and just go to bed at like two in the afternoon. And that, you know, you don't want to be like the National Lampoon's Christmas, right? You want to be able to like have your happy holiday if you're having one, you know what I mean? Or regardless, you want to be able to have a healthy December, okay? Now, in regards to health, I feel like that you've got some stuff with your gut. Your stomach is really not happy with you. I don't know what you're putting in it, but I don't think it's that. I think that it's what you're emotionally putting in it, and that is fear, worry, anxiety, anger, frustration, and nervousness. And you're not eating enough I know I know you're like I just had a whole bunch of blah 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 you're not eating enough good things for yourself 
and good things could be cake. It could be carrot sticks. I don't know. I don't know your body. But I feel like you're not feeding yourself often enough. You need to graze a bit more. And uh, let me see. Anything else for Gemini? I just keep feeling that you need to just let those shoulders down and just relax. And maybe you need to get out and do a little shopping. I know it's like crazy because if you're like, you don't have a job or if you're, you could still do some window shopping. I think that being out with people or going and socializing, you don't have to do things that cost money, but just getting out and being with people. You are a people people. You know what I mean? Like you like to socialize until you don't, but you are really being around people just it energizes you and it amps you up so say yes to those holiday invitations even if they are your in-laws they're still people and it's okay bring them a bottle of wine it'll be just fine okay so breathe my loves and i will see you in january if you'd like a reading with me i am taking some bookings this month i've got some availability not a lot but i've got some left for december you can find me at kindredinsights.com, K-I-N-D-R-E-D, insights.com. And I will see you next month. Thank you so much for your patience and kindness. And I'm so glad to see you all again. See you next month. Bye.